So alrighty, today what we are going to do is we are going to discuss uh, something that is going absolutely crazy right now. It has been brought to uh, to the surface that a certain that this product, the Ryobi Defender, is being sold out at Home Depots and uh, uh, in the store. Uh, you still can get it online, uh, but people are buying these. And they are actually reselling them for like three times or two times the cost. Some are selling them, uh, people are selling them from $300 to $600. That's absolutely insane. Now what this is, this is, it's called the Ryobi Defender. Uh, this is model number, model number P2805. It, it's a fogging machine. Uh, it doesn't give any other specs. It's a half gallon tank. So this really isn't a fogger, it's more like a mist machine. Uh, now because this doesn't, uh, this doesn't have propane, so it doesn't have major heat to, for the reaction for, to turn the chemical into fog, this is more of a mist machine. So it puts, uh, it puts the, uh, whatever uh, chemical you have inside, it sprays it out pretty thick, you know, when it comes to the actual uh, liquid. But it, it just uh, pretty much just uh, fans it out like the sort of a, a fog that isn't really a fog. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some soap and water in here. I already did this video in the past, but I completely changed the way I film. So just uh, so because of what's happening nowadays, I'm not going to uh, say anything. But we are going to uh, test this out and see why people are actually buying these and reselling them uh, at a high price for the reason what this does is because uh, I think people are buying these because this is a, a fast way to clean the air. Uh, I, I do not know if this is true uh, or not, uh, but I think people are buying this to uh, do a mass cleaning of stuff. All right, so this was used, uh, I saw some pictures of uh, using these to clean out trains or buses. And so they would use this and they would spray the chemical, whatever they have in the tank, everywhere. And so because of that picture, uh, I think people are buying these and uh, just uh, going crazy to because they, uh, they think that this would clean whatever they're at extremely quickly, like their home. All right, so I bought this last year. I got this when this uh, first came out, brand new. And, uh, and the, my main purpose of this was to spray a mosquito killer around my area, in the trees, uh, in the bushes, and around, around the plants to kill the mosquitoes so we're not bothered as much. And it does work, uh, the, it uh, does work when it comes to the, what, it, what it's supposed to do. But yeah, we're gonna fill this up with water and put some soap in there, and we're actually gonna spray some surfaces and I'll show you how this actually works. We also crush the Sorry, I, I watch uh, Gray, still, Gray Still Plays. This guy's awesome. Hopefully he doesn't swear in this episode. All right, so I'm just gonna use Dawn. There we go. Put the cap back on. There we go. friend James Spears actually designed that. It's awesome. All right, so one the one thing about this is this is extremely loud. This is as loud as, as a compressor. So, but I'm gonna demonstrate this for you guys and show you what this machine actually does. So already, so I'm gonna show you guys this. See, this is what this is what the machine actually. It's not really a fogger. See, my hand is dry. All right, no gloss. All right, so watch this. See, and now it's completely dripping wet. Cause like like I said, it's not really a fogger. It's a mist machine.
And so yeah, so. so let's go outside with this. And as you can see the ground, the ground's all wet. As you can see, like I said before, it's a 0.5 get uh, max uh, fill line. Stuff, but yeah, this is the thing. This thing is loud. It is loud. It serves its purpose, though. Like I said, the main thing I use this for is killing mosquitoes. Killing mosquitoes is the main purpose. All right, so I am back in here because uh, some of my footage I forgot to push the record button. Uh, I did a test with this, and what I showed is how wet this could actually get just from being with this for a little bit. So let's uh, just, I want to do a little demonstration for you guys. Right, so as you can see, is it even a, if you do if you do this all over the place, what it's just gonna do? It's gonna get everything soaked, you know, and you don't want that when it comes to inside your house. All right, so as you can see, what this does when it comes to the average homeowner, this is useless because if if you spray this in your house and you know uh, the air on objects, this is gonna get stuff so wet. You're gonna have to wipe everything down anyways. And so you might as well just uh, grab your uh, a cleaner and a cloth and just do it like you normally clean the house. Now when it comes to the cleaning in mass quantities like buses, trains, uh, big buildings that you just want to spray down the surface and you don't care what the surface looks like afterwards because it's still gonna be wet and then dry with spots everywhere, this is the tool to go. But when it comes to the average homeowner, this is no good when it comes to cleaning uh, or sanitizing your house from viruses. And so, so I do not know why, uh, pe like these are selling out. Uh, companies might be buying them out, but people are buying these and they are uh, selling them at twice or three times the price, which I think I paid $120 for this, brand new. When it first came out, and I think you could get it for ninety nine dollars to a hundred dollars normally. So you, I think you still could buy this on online. I do not know. That might have changed by the time I, I make this video. But yeah, but this thing is uh, this thing's crazy. Uh, it is very energy efficient when it comes to batteries. I have a three amp hour compact battery here, HP with twenty one seven hundred cells. And so yes, this thing does serve a purpose. But when it comes to Spraying everything with the cleaner, uh, it it's not it when it comes to the average homeowner. So, but I bought this before it was cool. Uh, I, uh, I uh, the day this came out, I got it. So since this was just uh, brought to my attention, I just wanted to talk about this and don't go out buying these and trying to resell them. This thing really isn't good for the homeowner. It, it really is not. This is gonna soak your entire house and everything's gonna be covered in whatever you have in the tank. You know, and it's, if you, if, and that's just gonna go everywhere on pictures, it's gonna ruin paper, it's gonna mess up electronics. And so yeah, please do not go buying these and spraying your house with these because this is not the solution. You need to do it the old fashioned way with a spray bottle and a rag if you want to clean your house. Or even a, a, cause a light, even if you use Lysol, that's still better than this because this, you can't control where this goes because of how, it's, it's like a three foot, like about this far away, it's about, uh, it goes into like a three foot span. 
and everything in that three foot radius uh, is just going to be drenched. Uh, furniture. You don't want you don't want your furniture getting completely soaked. Good luck drying that. And so yeah, so that's pretty much it. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. This is Dave and Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.